Friends, buddies, pals, how you doing? Welcome back to another video. I wonder how many times I've said that now. So you may have noticed the big pack is back on. I'm gonna do a big walk today. Uh, I'm gonna walk into a river that I've fished lots over the years. I've fished it as a day beat plenty of times. Normally fish it once a season. I wanna get in there and then spend a night and then just see what's above a day's worth of fishing. Weather forecast is kind of overcast uh, before some weather comes in. So I'm just kind of nipping out, hoping I get in front of that weather system and I uh, don't get too rained on. Big shout out to Anthony Stent for dropping me some money in my PayPal account to go towards these videos, this channel, the boat repair, all that kind of stuff. Thank you, my friend. Really appreciate you. That's about it. I'm gonna put this camera away put my head down, get some kilometers under my belt, and get to the river. Made it, Woo. and she's looking good. Have a snack, rig up a rod, go fishing. Let's get ready, let's get ready to rumble. Let's get down to clown. All right, so I'm gonna go for the Helios 3 5 way F, just because it's really small water up here and you just don't, you don't need anything more than this. It's kind of like the perfect rod for this kind of water. Dry droppery, maybe a nymph here and there, but nothing heavy. This rod's an absolute pleasure to use in water like this. Whew. Thought I'd forgotten my reel. Whew. Then we're gonna go for the Mirage LT size two reel in the burnt orange. My favorite reel. And I think it goes really well with the with the olive color on this rod. Such a nerd, eh? So on here I've got the Scientific Anglers Amplitude Infinity Smooth Camo line in a five weight. And then Loop to loop to that, I've got a seven foot floating poly leader from Orvis. A couple of cool ducks there. Down to a tippet ring. And then off of that, I've got, I'm not sure what's off the end of that, to be honest right now, but we'll have a look. So it looks like we've got five, maybe six foot three X. Down to about, yeah, four feet, three feet of four X. I think that'll be fine. So a seven foot floating poly leader, that's six feet of 3x, so that's 13 plus about four, 15, 16, 17. 17 feet down to my first fly. I think that's, that's cool. That'll work. Just gonna chuck on a dry fly of some description, just as a transport fly. And then when I find that first fish, I'll adjust from there. You know, I'll put something on. It's, this is just a nice clearing to get ready in. It's basically why I'm doing this here. So this is like a size 12 parachute thing. Don't know what's called. I think it's from uh, Stu Superior Flies, I think. Nice high vis post on top, double Davy knot. Tag ends in the hip pack. Put a little bit of lube on there and we are pretty much good to go. Uh, what I'll probably end up doing is adding like a, a dropper and a nymph to that. Well, I, I'll definitely at some point add a nymph and a dropper to that, but I might as well just find a fish first, see what the situation is, and then sort it out from there. All right, people, I'm excited. Let's go fishing and camping and all that fun stuff. First things first, let's get this sunscreen on, or I'll forget. It's not really sunny, but those rays will still get you. All right, let's go, people. Let's go. It's fresh, but not too bad. Man, it's low. I normally find something in here that you can see. Let's just sit and wait for a minute. Just watch. So I've gone for about two and a half foot maybe of uh, 4X. And then I'm going to go for a size 16 uh, pheasant tail south side from uh, Cat 3. 
which I've only just got well I've only just found out about them to be honest so I grabbed myself a couple of boxes of those in like 14s and 16s um, I like them they're all subtle yeah I think they'll do well anyway I haven't seen the thing while I've been sitting here standing here so I'm just gonna uh, I'm just gonna fish it I don't know why I said it like that. I'm just gonna fish it. Oh, hang on. Is that a fish? I think I can see a fish. You might see this. Coming over. Yep, there he is. Yeah! Oh, that's a good fish, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no. What have I done with my net? Oh, it's a good fish. Oh, oh that's a great looking fish. Oh, sweet start to the trip, man. Perfectly hooked. It's a great, great fish. Just a beast of a rainbow. Awesome. All right. Oh man, I'm stoked with that. First fish of the trip, and it was a beautiful fish. Basically, first good cast. It was a little bit on his inside, but it didn't matter. He just moved over, ate that nymph just with no hesitation, and uh, it was all good in the hood. Probably about three and a half, four pound, and beautiful. All right, let's crack on. That's a pretty good start. Okay, okay, okay. Here we go. Coming over. Get oh, I missed him. Yeah. I saw his mouth going everything. My change. He did eat it though. We go a little uh, size 16 grey thing. This is pretty exciting stuff. He's up high in the water there. You should see that. Nope. Oh, come on. He's ate just under the surface then. Oh, here we go. Going over, going over, going over. Looking, looking, looking. That's a different fish, but I'll take it. Other guy just, I think it was just wasn't seeing it. But this is a good fish. Whoa, beautiful. Ooh. There we go. guy I was fishing to I just don't think was seeing the fly I think it was a bit deeper and uh, the flies were going over his head but that guy kind of came out of nowhere at the back of the pool there and uh, yeah nobbled it great looking fish big shoulders on him plenty of attitude kind of cool shovel nose super cool and he ate that little uh, little size 16 gray thing I did actually miss that other fish he ate it and I just struck and there was nothing there but it's okay get that on the big jobs it's getting actually a bit cold now. That wind's in here and might have to put thermal on in a minute. Over. 
better fish than I thought. Look at that big tail, that's super cool. Okay, found a rainbow, another rainbow. It's feeding real well in this fast stuff at the top of this top of this piece of water. Here we go. Got him. Nice. Come on, baby. Come on. Oh, that's a lovely looking fish. Cool colours. Get away from that stick and that boulder. There we go. Nice. All right. All right, man. Look at that. What a cool fish. Wait. There you go, buddy. Ah, oh, sweet, that worked out well. A uh, couple of very suboptimal casts there uh, before I got it right, but uh, luckily he didn't. Uh, he didn't know I was here until it was too late. What a great day this has turned out to be. Stoked. Still got plenty of time to fish today, so should get a couple more. Oh, and he ate that little size 16 grey thing. Good little fly, that. Okay, so I think I've found my campsite for the night. It's this big clearing here, look at this. So it's kind of bumpy, bumpy, but found like a flat-ish area in the middle here I think I can make work. And it's just a cool, just a cool place to camp. Got this wicked lake, kind of back pool thing going on. But yeah, I'm gonna cross over there, carry on up there for another couple of hours. And then, uh, yeah, yeah, then I'll come back here and make, make this my home for the night, I think, yeah. Pretty happy with this. That's you up to speed. Let's go find another trout. Dude, I just saw a fish take off the top out there. Right out there in that slow kind of foamy stuff. Oh, I don't even know where I'm pointing. It's hard to see. Okay, 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 okay. Could be, could this be the first potential dry fly of the season? No, I think I've had one already. I can't remember. Anyway, this would be cool. Here he goes, coming over. Oh, what? He's chasing. He's chasing it. I don't think he wanted that. Oh, rejected. Oh, coming back. Oh. Should have let him turn around. It was actually quite cool. I did the fly change. It's changed to a size 14 uh, dead cert from Cat 3, uh, put the cast out there just to his right, landed, he came over, refused it, then he circled back round and he ate it coming back towards me and uh, I just didn't wait long enough for him to turn back away from me and I just pulled the fly out of his mouth. I felt him just off and out. Ah, rookie mistake, rookie mistake, early season out of practice, got a bit excited and fluffed it. But pretty cool to watch. All right, let's go find another one. Okay, so I found, found another fish up this inside here. I'm just gonna keep that same dry fly on. It'll handle, it'll handle what I'm gonna put on. I'm just gonna put some 4X on, maybe about three feet, and then uh, something small, 16, something. Take ends and hip back. Go about that much, about an arm's length. I'll chuck one of them south sides on that I was using this morning. 
a little bit of weight to get down in that flow. Still nice and subtle. Tag ends in the hip pack. Crush the barb. All right. So there's a size 16 south side. I keep wanting to say south end, but it's south side. Uh, and then about two and a half feet to size 14 dead cert, just because I had it on from that fish before. Lazy. Okay. A bit closer in. Got him. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Come on, buddy. Come on. Gotcha. Nice one, man. All right, that worked out pretty good. Just a little guy. Needs to put on some weight so I'm gonna get him straight back. All right, nice job. Another one for the south side. Got him. Nice. Yeah, it looks like a big fish from up here. I think it's a brown. Oh, it's a brown. Yes, it's a brown. It's a good brown. Oh, get away from that boulder. Oh, and the stick's down there too. Come on, Ben. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, come on, a brown trout. Chaotic. There we go, there we go. Come on. Come on. Oh yes. Oh nice man. What a great fish. That's just made the day, just made the trip to be honest. It's going to be one of the better browns I've had out of this river ever. It was a really good fish. Really cool and ate that little size 16 south side from Cat Free. I knew as soon as I saw that fly that would catch fish. All right, I'm stoked about that. I'm really happy about that. Made my day. All right, <clears throat> so there's a fish at the tail of the pool eating off the top, but I don't want to catch him because he's got a munted jaw. I know there's a few other fish knocking around like in this part of the pool so I'm just uh, just gonna try and get a couple of casts over the back there where I'm pretty sure they'll be hanging around anywhere over there there's one I'll take that guy do 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 this looks like a good fish. Oh, we'll never know. Hook pull. 
yeah, pop, pull. That's all good. Got my flies back. No biggie. I just moved up to this piece of water right here, which is pretty much the last piece of water I do and have done, like when I've done this just as a day trip. So I kind of just wanted to look in here, then I'll probably head back to camp because it's like four, about half an hour back to camp, half is four. And it gives me a couple hours to, you know, mess around, sorting all that out. Uh, and then I will come up to here tomorrow and then start fishing from here. So, yeah, that brings you up to speed. Had a great day and kind of want to make camp now get into that that kind of part of the day where I'm like yeah I want to build a camp oh baby mm-hmm mm -hmm. that's the spot I'm gonna sit here I'm gonna chill out I'm gonna drink this and then I'll make some food and then do some more sitting and some more chilling I enjoy this part of the day I really do I miss this stuff Yo, uh, okay, so just as well I didn't get a fire going tonight because it's raining pretty steady now. So I'm kind of, I'm under this little tree here and I've just got my chili con carne and mashed potato all cooked up and I'm going to stand under here and I'm watching a fish just casually just eating off the top out there and uh, it's really cool to watch actually. I'm not going to fish for it. Uh, no part of me wants to catch that fish and spoil his day so I'm just going to happily sit here well, stand here and uh, eat my food and watch him uh, eat his food. And then, uh, yeah, if this doesn't stop, I'll just go to bed real early. Maybe with a whiskey. <laughs> Who knows? I'm going to sign off here because I can't really film much more because of the rain. Um, and I'm pretty happy just to chill for the evening. So hopefully we can find some more fish tomorrow. And that'll be next week's video. Yeah, hope you enjoyed this one, guys. Give me a thumbs up. Drop me a comment in the comment section below and all that good stuff. Have a great weekend, everyone. See you on the next one. Peace.